The story of the Galaxy Z Fold 5 hinge and crease continues to be a winding and strange tale. Just a few days ago, I brought you guys a video where one of the most typically reliable tech tipsters around Ice Universe had been repeatedly tweeting and then deleting said tweets, talking about the hinge and the crease mechanism on the Z Fold 5. In these deleted tweets, Ice Universe made statements about the Z Fold 5 being almost identical to the Z Fold 4, in specifics that the crease itself was not changing a whole lot. And this obviously flew in the face of the other reporting that the Z Fold 5 was making the switch to a water drop or dumbbell hinge, a larger radius bend in the screen, which should allow the Fold 5 to not only fold totally flat, but to have a crease that is far less visible than on prior models. Now, Ice Universe stepping out on a limb and saying, not so fast. Maybe what they've seen looked like the crease was just as visible as before, but to make this even stranger, they kept deleting those tweets. What all this meant was very, very difficult to tell and up for some interpretation. One interpretation was that if you look at Ice Universe's recent tweets, they all seem to have a very negative tint to them about Samsung in general. Perhaps this could explain what this individual was saying, why they were saying things that were, like I said, flying in opposition to the other rumors. Well, now, late last night, we got another tweet that kind of partially explains what's going on here. So this is the tweet from Ice Universe. Note, it has not as of yet been deleted. I got the exact information about the crease of the Galaxy Z Fold 5. It does use a water drop hinge, but the crease is much larger than that of China brand mobile phone so that the crease looks similar to the Z Fold 4. Its crease is only 15% less than the Fold 4. This explains my initial informational error, and they put that in quotes despite the fact it probably shouldn't be in quotes because it was, in fact, an informational error. In fact, the information is correct. It, it was not correct before because what you're saying now is different than what you said before. So you could either be correct now or correct then, but you can't be correct in both instances because you said two different things. The crease is too big, they go on to say, which makes me mistakenly think that this is the Fold 4. In fact, this is the Fold 5. Don't give hope to the crease. So there's a lot, a lot to talk about in these two brief tweets. So let's start with the first tweet here and we'll go through it in the order of how things are stated. So the first thing, it does use a water drop hinge. Of course, this is a really big deal because it was, first off, what everyone else was already saying. So it's good that Ice Universe has uh, now decided to fall in line, I guess is a way that you could put this. It is indeed using the water drop hinge. Well, what does this mean? As you saw earlier in the video, it means that the screen itself is folding at a less harsh angle. Rather than being like almost folded over on itself completely, it's basically allowed to have a little bit of a bubble, a, a larger radius fold at the bottom. This is what all these other OEMs have been using from the very beginning. Now, typically, when you do this, you have a crease that is, instead of deep and very noticeable, it's spread out over a larger area. And that might be what we're talking about here in just a moment when he says that the crease is larger because this is going from someone who is, I believe, a native Chinese speaker to English. And so we don't really know what larger means. By larger, do we mean deeper or do we mean wider? There's different axes, axes that this could be describing. And we don't really know. It's not really clear. But if this is indeed a water drop hinge, I would expect it to be more shallow, but then wider, more similar in my mind to what we've seen in some recent images of the Pixel Fold, which has a crease that does appear to be a bit more visible than some of these other OEMs like Oppo and companies like that, but it is still wider and more shallow than what Samsung has, making it look slightly less visible overall. Why would they be having a hinge, a crease that looks like that? Well, rumors are it's going to be not only water resistant, but dust resistance. And perhaps something about that IP rating necessitates the hinge performing a particular way and therefore the crease looking a particular way. This may be a sacrifice that they are effectively making. Yes, the crease will be slightly better, not the best, but we're going to be IP58 and people are going to respond well to that. It will be a balancing act. 
To be totally honest, these tweets from Ice Universe put me pretty much back where I was in the very beginning, expecting the Z Fold 5 crease to look better than the Fold, not quite as good as some of these other brands like Oppo and Xiaomi and Huawei and these other brands that have creases which have hinge mechanisms that do not prioritize water resistance. This is pretty much what I was expecting to see. I don't know why we leaned so negative there for a minute, but we're back in the middle where we probably should have been from the very beginning. The Z Fold 5 is going to fold flat. It's going to have a less visible crease. It's going to be water resistant, very possibly dust resistant as well, as well as having that brand new system on a chip, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is going to make it the fastest foldable on the market and should improve the battery life quite dramatically and making a formidable, formidable foe to take on the Pixel Fold. Hopefully in just a few months, we'll have them both on the market competing against each other. A great time to be a fan of folding phones in the United States. Guys, thanks for watching. Glad I got to kind of clear this up again and, and unmuddy the waters, if you will. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.